Hi, my name is Adrena Garrett, and my lecture is on polynomial functions of higher degrees. Example 1, finding zeros. We have f of x equals 3x plus 4x minus 2. Our first step is to set it equal to 0. So we change fx to 0, and we get 0 equals 3x plus 4x minus 2. Our next step is to combine like terms. Our 3x and our 4x are like terms because they both have an x in common. So we put those together and we get 0 equals 7x minus 2. Our next step is to simplify to get x alone. So we add 2 to both sides, then divide by 7 to get our answer, which is x equals 2 sevenths. Example number 2, we have x squared minus 4x. Our first step is to factor out an x from both terms. So we get x multiplied by x minus 4. Our next step is to set them equal to 0. So we get x equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. Next, we have to simplify to get x alone, so we add 4 to both sides of this one, and we get x equals 4. So our answers are x equals 0 and x equals 4. For example 3, we have x squared plus x minus 12. Our first step is to factor, and we get x plus 4 and x minus 3. Um, you could either find that out by using the quadratic formula, or you could easily look at it and do it in your head. Because if you look, x times x will get you x squared and 4 times negative 3 will get you that negative 12. But you have to be careful with the signs. You have to look at the outside. So the outside would be negative 3x plus 4x, and that will get you that middle term of x. So that's how you know that that's factors. But if you can't see that in your head, like I said, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So once you get your factors, um, you set them equal to 0, and you simplify, and then you get x equals negative 4 and x equals 3. For example number 4, we have h cubed minus 9h squared plus 27h minus 27. Our first step is to get the factors of the first and last term. We have to make sure that these are in order of our exponents too, because they'll get you there. So we have all our factors listed out here um, that multiply to get us either 1 or negative 27. And next step is to do synthetic division. So we have to randomly pick one of these numbers and hope we have good luck at picking. So I chose 3 for my synthetic division. So my 3 goes in this nice little box right here. Um, next, I use these numbers right here, which I get from the equation. So the 1 goes right here, um, negative 9, negative 9, 27, 27, negative 27, negative 27. Um, my first number will always be brought down with synthetic division, so my 1 goes there. 1 times 3 is 3, so then negative 9 plus 3 will get you negative 6. Negative 6 multiplied by 3 will get you negative 18. 27 minus 18 is 9. 9 multiplied by 3 will get you 27, and negative 27 plus 27 will get you 0. That zero is important because that tells you that this is a factor. So we know one of our factors is x equals 3. So um, our leftovers down here, the 1, the negative 6, and 9, they can't just be left there. You have to put your variable back. So we use h squared because this was cubed, so now we're going to have one left, so that's h squared. So h squared minus 6h plus 9, um, and we have to factor that next. And we know that that is um, x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. So equals 3. And you have to be careful because you, you can never have more answers than this exponent. Right? Example number 5 is the remainder theorem. And it is x to the fourth power added by 10x cubed subtracted by 24x squared plus 20x plus 44. Um, it is given that um, f of negative 1, which just means plug in negative 1 to where all the x's are. So um, we end up plugging in negative 1 to where all the x's are and then you simplify for each spot, and then you put it all together, and then you get f of ne negative 1 equals negative 9.